Hey Home Slice, it's sweater season and I've been looking around for the perfect speckled knit sweater but I can't find it anywhere so recently I discovered this technique called needle felting which is very easy and it'll allow us to add our own speckles to sweaters and if you're into elbow pads then I will show you how to add those as well. Go nuts and try this technique on cardigans, hats, scarves, or anything that needs pizzazz. You will need a wool blend sweater, mine is from H&M, some wool roving, a foam block or sponge, and needle felting needles. These needles are special because they have tiny grooves near the tip that catch onto the wool fibers. You will also need an elbow patch template and a colored pencil. First of all, try on the sweater and bend your elbows. Then use a pencil or some tape to mark where you'd like the patches to start. Lay down the sweater and place the template at the tip of the marker and trace around it with a colored pencil. Once you've traced the shape, take the foam block and slip it inside the sleeve so it sits underneath the outline. And this foam block just stops the needle from going through to the other side of the sweater. Just so you don't lose your outline, I suggest starting with a small piece of wool roving and adding little by little as you go. Now you're ready to start needle felting. So take the special felting needle and push it straight up and down through the wool, the sweater, and the foam block. When you need to move to a new section, just remember to adjust the block. As you can see, I'm adding more felt roving piece by piece. Here's a tip, take a thin line of material and felt that over the pencil mark so the outline comes out sharper. Once you're finished with one patch, move on and do the same with the other sleeve. Now you can begin speckling. Pick any spot and place the foam block inside the sweater. Take less than a pinch of wool roving and punch it into the sweater. The trick is to needle felt the wool roving in the direction of the lines in the sweater. Here, the lines run vertically, so I'm moving my needle in a vertical line. This way, the speckles will look a part of the sweater fabric instead of polka dots or lint balls. When needle felting the sleeves, just keep following the direction of the lines. After finishing one side of the sweater, flip it over and speckle the other. Once the sweater is finished and covered in speckles, it's a good idea to iron it so that the wool stays put. Thank you for watching and thank you for helping me reach 100 subscribers. If you haven't already and would like to see more DIYs, please do subscribe and I'll see you soon. Bye!